See baby husband do. Hey. Person never ripe for marriage. You jump. You hear marriage, you enter. Baby husband. <laughs> I'm able to leave me alone. <laughs> what kind of what kind of a husband is this? And what kind of brother does he have? An older brother being in the midst of people who insult him anyhow. He receives insults from his brother's wife. He receives insults from the people who are working with his brother. And you are still there. You will be receiving insults now. You leave your ass, can't join them in their daily gospels. You will receive insults. You don't know when to chip in in husband and wife matter. You don't know when to chip. If at all, these two people, Solomon and goodness, are going to settle. You see all of you that are there. Hmm? They will use all of you and settle. But the one that, that uh, they are telling to leave the house, that lady that is there, I've forgotten her name. The one that is always putting her mouth inside matter that does not consign her. Husband and wife, they get quanta. They get misunderstanding. You will choke your mouth inside. Because the husband is giving you leverage to talk. And you are talking. Who, where does it happen? A husband and, her, and wife will be discussing their disputes. Workers, people who are working with them, will come and put their mouths and start antagonizing the wife or start antagonizing the husband. Where does it happen? Which kind of marriage you know they do there? When you grow up and see yourself as a man, you will start doing buga, buga, buga. Then you will now go and, go and carry something that you know that is not yet your age to carry. When they start insulting you, say they have started insulting you. See woman who are married. Oh, now you want to accept her like that? You are not yet mature for marriage. Why will you allow your workers to insult your wife anyhow? Because you are having misunderstanding with her. Why? If you don't want to marry her again, Go and receive your dowry back. Go back to the people, to, uh, to your wife's family, with those same people they are requesting for you to go with. There were people you went to marry her with, right? Those are the people they have been asking you to bring with you. Not this, your chewing gum boys that you are always hanging around with. No. Marriage is not for chewing gum boys. Marriage is for maturity, matured people. When you want to receive your dowry back, go with those people. Otherwise, anything you see, you will keep collecting. Look at who. <laughs> if, they are, if they are calling husband, if they are calling husband, this one will drop out. <laughs> hey, God, though. I leave me alone. Which guy, which guy play on they do there every day? Tomorrow, if you people do not call soldier, if the lady does not call soldier, you you call your brother, or you say you have gone to report the brother, uh, the the uh, brother soldier, be the soldier brother at the headquarter, army headquarter. Tomorrow you bring your own brother. Uh, next tomorrow you will tell your workers to start insulting your wife. You will tell them to start beating her, and when she retaliates, you will say, Ah, she has retaliated. She insulted you. She you will be slapping her at any given point, and you don't want her to retaliate. She has already told you that she is sorry. I know she messed up at the beginning. She would have told you. It's as if the, the thing was a planned work. I don't know whether actually she was raped. That was the story she told, that she was raped. And when somebody is raped and the person bears the child, grows the child in her womb and eventually delivers the baby, the feeling is going to be different from somebody who actually wanted to be pregnant who it was her choice to be pregnant because you cannot compare the two school of thoughts you cannot compare the two of them she will be ashamed of speaking about it and she not telling you before you got married to her is her mistake from the beginning and from what i've been seeing what i've been seeing she has been apologizing and you said that you do not have any issue with single mothers. She would have told you before you people settled down. Then when you were saying that kind of a thing, you still went ahead to say that 
she's a, a second hand you don't deal with second hand i don't even know where to judge your own matter from and you started insulting her your worker the female uh, your female worker was you come and insult her you will ask her to talk to her anyhow beat her and you expect her not to retaliate she's a human being she will retaliate so all these things is going to continue happening if you don't tell your workers to stay clear solomon i'm talking to you if you don't tell your workers your brother to stay clear your you and your wife's matter and when you are talking stop slapping her majority of the videos that i have watched now you are always the one going to her body to slap her you are always the one this last one that she used bottle on your head you slapped her first before she used bottle on your head yes you slapped her and I'm not even advising the lady that she should go ahead and use bottles. At the same time, I will not blame her because she is defending herself. Who knows what would have happened? There was one that you went and carried the knife, kitchen knife. You want to do what? I don't even understand what you wanted to do with the knife. So ranging from what has been happening, you're having misunderstanding with your wife. Your workers do not have one single right. In fact, your brother even has more rights than they do. You understand? Your workers do not have one single right. And that lady that she has been lamenting, she should leave the house. If you don't want to leave, if, if you don't want her to leave there, let her mind her business and concentrate on what she went there to do. Not chipping in in another woman's matter. Forgetting that she's a woman who is yet to get married. What if she is in that woman's shoe? What is what is she going to react to? What is going to be her reaction? So the high time your workers respect themselves. And mind their business the the better for the both of you otherwise people will still be collecting basketballs baby husband and wife guys what do you think about this video kindly like comment and share this video also follow us up on facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel for more informative videos as this and see you in our next video